Oh, we'll turn this down a bit. We're a bit too bright here today. Right. Hello, guys. How y'all going? Let me pick it up here. So I'm just out here in the garden. We've had heaps of rain the last maybe two weeks. Like, <laughs> like really heavy rain, like really heavy. Huge downpours, probably the worst we've had in, in uh, years, probably. It's a beautiful day to do some gardening. You can see here, so look at that, it's just like been well soaked in two weeks ago. This was like sand. But now we've had the heavy rain. But now we've had that heavy rain, it's just gone really good, so it's a perfect day to do some planting. Today we're going to be planting some akumara and I'll also plant a cucumber that I've had grown from seed. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're going to plant some kumara today. But before we do that, I'll give you guys a bit of a quick tour of how my garden has progressed since you last saw it, which has been about two weeks ago. Uh, we just planted some tomatoes then and some fresh herbs. And after that rain, I tell you, plants love rainwater. They just really grow well after a bit of rain. She hasn't grown much. It's chives. Um, we've got some garlic here, stewed drivers garlic. We've got some watch out, rubber. parsley. Here we have, look, this is some tarragon. See, it's coming along really well. The tarragon, another parsley here. Here we have our kumara we're going to plant today. I've got a few there, I've got about eight. So these are way ready to plant. Look, check that out man. Awesome. Got some there and got a couple up here. See it's all planters as well. And this one they've been they've actually been really enjoying the rain Got Some uh, cucumbers in there. Yeah chives. We'll have our chives here. Lovely on eggs, salads, potato salad, coleslaw. And here, here, one of my favourite herbs. You either love it or you hate it. Coriander. So that's coming along really well. Enjoying that, that potty mixture there. And enjoying the sunshine. There's our coriander. Really nice. And another coriander there as well. Enjoying the sunshine. So we have here There's some little pumpkins. I've got a kamakamal seedling grown here for my father's neighbour. For them and their family, and their kids. Now these cucumbers here, I've got some Lebanese. I'm gonna repot these, put these into some bigger pots so they can grow like this one here. I've got grown in this container here, cake bottle. That one is Definitely ready to go in the garden now, so we're going to plant that as well. Okay, we've got some more coriander coming up here. Got some, um, we're going to pop these today. Some more kumara there. And also some more here, some more slips. But check this out this is a pumpkin, a pumpkin plant. Look, it's enjoyed that rain. They're beautiful. Next to that we've got some of that mouldy pudu pudu riwai. It's already taken off after that rain. And behind here we've got some heirloom seeds, uh, some heirloom beans that from Stu Driva. This one on the side of the wire is the, the seed that he gave me. I forgot what name of it's called but it's just starting to take up here, get some runners up here. Got another side off over here. The other side got some more beans. I think these are a, uh, a combination here. Scarlet runner. 
as you can see, I've planted them quite close together. Because me and love our beans in this house. But they are, have really taken off since the rain. Haven't had to water them at all, which is great. Just rain water. But man, they're taking off really well. Along with the one set, a few fails coming up. Now I've got a silver bead here. So I'll keep it here till it goes to seed. Then I'm going to pull it up. Right. And here are our tomatoes. These are our acid free ones, the yellow ones. Look how well they've grown. <coughs> Look at that. One, two, three, five of them. And they've really shot off since the rain. The golden golden acid, low acid one. <coughs> really taken off. Um, here's our other cucumbers. See they've been attacked by the old them in uh, over the rain, the old slugs. And they've uh, enjoyed being there. Starting to take hold in the ground now. And uh, cucumbers love love rain. Love a bit of water. Over there's a rogue pumpkin, we'll pull it up. Here's our thyme. It's growing, it's growing nicely there. There's rubber again. Uh, here's our oregano. It's coming along well. Oregano. And here's our um, jalapeno. I've fertilised it and it's coming along really well. Got some new new growth on there. Second year in a row. Jalapeno. Right, chives, small chives here and spring onions. Right. Uh, here is the old beef steak tomato got from our neighbour next door. It's really taken off. So I've cut off the runners. It's gonna have the one stem coming up. Here, grow them off here. But yeah, that's the old uh, beef steak. Some more leeks over here. But yeah. <clears throat> Not quite sure if I'm gonna put in some kumara here or what. This is the last place to get the sun in the day. And also the last place to get the sun in the afternoon. Here we have a couple of pumpkins. A couple of pumpkins. I want to grow a few pumpkins this year. Have them stored in the shed. So hopefully these ones here will will uh, produce a few for us for the shed. Also really loving this rain, man. It's just really taken off. This tomato, this is from a um, neighbour as well. I stopped him with one of the low acid ones. He gave me this is a tiny tom, I think. So that one's going to have a bit of room to grow. You know, tiny tom red tomatoes. Oh, Oxalis. So, what I will do in a few weeks' time, when it gets to um, summertime, I'm going to be mulching all these tomatoes. Going to mulch it all, newspaper and some old grass clippings. Try and stop all the Zoxalis coming through and also to uh, retain some moisture in the ground for the plants.
actually we are about to plant these two lovely Akumara tips, tipu. I'm going to plant them here. So I'm just going to add some compost and some bottom bone and a bit of uh, potty mix into our soil, mix it all up and we're going to put these in the ground. Full of bottom bone. And some sheep poo. And then a bit of compost out of the bag. Dig this in. And that's when I'm going to plant them. I'm going to plant them on a bit of an angle. Put one there and put one here, and we'll just trail up this vine up the trellis. Hopefully that'll work. So I'm going to bear into the ground up to about here somewhere. Just have this bit sticking out. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a bit of a hole like this. You can see it alright. Go down a bit further here. I'll go up here. Okay, bit of a line like that. And then I'm gonna grab this out of here. Crikey. Oh, here it comes, look at that. Big root ball. Okay, so we're gonna put this like this. I'm gonna lay it down like that. And we'll just cover that up. There we go just that sticking out and it should encourage your kumara or sweet potato to grow along this bit of line here you could even go a bit deeper if you want to and it's about there here we go. put that through here there you go so first one in that oxalis out of the way. That one there, put one about here, see? Come out. Look at that. We'll just put it in like this, see? Put her in and we'll cover it up. There we go, planted. All done. Just give it a nice water. So can. Now this Lebanese cucumber plant will grow on top of four fish heads that I put in the garden. 
going to use no other fertilizer but those four fish heads. So we're going to see how this grows on top of those fish heads with no other fertilizer over summer. So we have just the fish heads. I'm now going to put this dirt back in here. We're going to make a little gap in here. We shall put our cucumber in there. Whoa, look at that. Right, there we go. Put that in there. And that should grow up here and we actually use some little bits of wire and we'll just help it along as it climbs up I'm going to need some compost some potty mix some compost out of my compost bin some blood and bone and some uh, some sheep pellets. I'm going to mix it all up and I'm going to plant my kumara into that mixture. First we're going to add some potty mix. It's nice and loose. Then we add some of our compost out of my compost bin. Got a few worms and stuff in there as well and it's got really good a few worms, eggshells, just awesome compost. Add some of that in there. Mix it up a bit, add a bit more poly mix. Add a handful of blood and bone there, mix it up. A bit more of the compost from the compost bin. Mix it up there. Oh, look at that, it looks nice. Add in some sheep pellets, organic sheep pellets. My local farm here. That's a little bit. Let me mix that up. More potty mix. More compost. Potty mix. Add some compost out of the out of a bag as well. Put my bottom bone and my potty mix on top, mix that in. And that we've got our plants, a good head start, and you put them in the garden. Some nice healthy food there for them. Right, so I plug this garden bed here over and there are our five kumara we're going to plant in this bed here. The last one I've got here, this is the orange kumara, which uh, took a while for this one to grow, I've only got one. But I've also noticed that on the kumara that I got this from, there are two more big shoots which we are going to take off that today and put them into a glass of water let those sprout because we love our orange kumara or sweet potato in this house it's very tasty so I've got one there and I've got four purple ones so as you can see over there there's the old purple ones over there so uh, we're gonna dig some holes add some compost that I made up that manu up there it's getting a free feed of worms the way the sun goes, we get no sun in this part of the garden here in the morning, only in the afternoon. So you get about six hours of sun in this area here. 
last year and before I've managed to grow some tomatoes in this area here with an afternoon sun over summer and they grew some very nice tomatoes so hopefully this kumare here, sweet potato will grow nice in this area here where we don't get much sun plant this orange one first Add a bit of compost there. Compost. All mixed up there. Put a hole, a bit of an angle. It's only a small one, so put it like this. Beautiful. Right, move on to the next one. Oxalis. Mix it up. Can't drop like that. Beautiful. Right, so I've just made up another bucket of compost mix for these plants. I don't want to skimp on feeding them properly, so I made another mix. This bucket here will probably go into two holes or two and a half holes. Yeah. For one more hole. Right, so it's all done. Just sitting here in the shade. And as you can see here also, as the sun comes over, the garden shades over. So it's only about half past one now, and I'm in the shade, and the sun will slowly start moving over. As you can see here, it's gonna just gonna go over my all the kumara and uh, cucumber will be in the shade now till tomorrow morning so the last bit that gets the sun is over there where the kumara is planted the rest of the afternoon right so let's go and give it a water with some lovely organic rainwater Here's our progress so far in our garden. Kumara in, cucumber, tomatoes are looking good, and our kumara over here. Already so, it's looking nice. The garden is coming along well after that rain. 
So I've got here the old orange kumara. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to take off these tips. I'm just going to put them off and we're going to put them in a glass of water. We can also, if you want to, use the old scissors. Let me just cut one off here. There's somewhere. <clears throat> and all we got to do, we'll just snip these bottom leaves off. Like that. And put that straight into our glass of water. Back in a glass of water, we'll just cut these off. There you go. I'll put that in the glass of water. Now, this is quite a small one, this one. It should be alright. Alright, now we've also got some this purple one here. Look at the root system on that. There's a few long ones in here. I'm going to pull this off. Uh, roots and all. I'm going to save some roots. See that? I'll try this side. There you go. Just going to pull that off nice and gently. You should better grab some roots with it as well. There you go. Now that, you can put them to the ground straight away. Just cut these off. And I'll put that, <coughs> I just want to stop the jars. I'll put this one in here. There you go. 